This audio recorder has a built-in AI system that does beautiful transcripts and a lot more. Let's check it out. Dave Taylor here, and I spend a lot of time in meetings and lectures and roundtable conversations, and I often wish that I had a recording of that, but more than that, I now, you know, with AI and everything, I want to have a recording and a transcript and be able to do searches and get summaries of the transcription and everything. And that's what this device does. This, and it's not much bigger than, honestly, a pack of gum, is the Timku SR1 AI Voice Recorder. And it is a really nice device. So at its most fundamental, it is an audio recording device. And it has two built-in microphones. You can see them here on both sides and they wrap around the sides so it's easy to like put it in the middle of the table and let it just capture everything that everyone's saying. It has a lot of storage. By default, it comes with 8 gig internal storage and an additional 128 gig of micro SD storage. So that is enough to record a lot of meetings. I hope you don't have to go to that many meetings, but if you do, you can record them all with this. How handy is that? It also has a built-in transcription system, so you don't have to be online to be able to turn your audio recording into a transcript. And that works for six different languages. It actually supports a lot more languages than that because they also have a larger, more sophisticated AI model that you can access that will require an online connection. I just hooked it up to my Wi-Fi. That was easy enough. And that supports over 90 different languages. That's pretty remarkable. So you can record something in German or Spanish, and then you can simply use this device to translate it into English or into Italian or whatever it is that you need. So it does that and it doesn't actually upload the audio files. So there's some magic going on in this device and it's a pretty sophisticated device. I'm pretty sure it's running Android. So it's actually really a tiny little computer that's very specialized. One thing that's super important is there's no subscription required. So you're not going to have to pay a monthly fee to be able to utilize these services. Once you have this, it has all of those capabilities. And I should mention, it's a full-size color screen and it's a touch screen. So I can touch this and I can get different features. And if I want to start a recording, I simply push the button on the side and after a couple of seconds, it is now recording and it's not actually doing a live transcription because I turned that feature off, but that's just a, a button right there on the home screen. So let me give you a quick tour of the buttons on the sides and then I'll do a live demo. On the right side, there's a 3.5 millimeter input jack and you can use external microphones, which is great. And then there's that micro SD slot with the card that's included already installed and then a power and lock slider and USB-C, that USB-C lets you actually charge it, which is important, but it also lets you plug it into a computer so you can access individual files and you can, for example, grab a copy of the audio recording from a meeting and then share that with colleagues. On the left side are a lot more buttons. So there's the record button, which you can push and hold to start a recording regardless of what mode you're in. And then there is next and previous, which lets you step through your recordings. And there's a pause play button. And then they have this T mark. And the idea of the marking is that as you're recording something, if someone says something important, you just tap on the mark. And then when the AI is processing it later, it will know that's an important segment. And then finally, there's volume up and down. And why is there volume up and down? Because there's also a built-in speaker. So you can actually record things and then listen to them with the device. So with all that in mind, let's jump into a live demo. The power switch is that slider on the right hand side, but the easy way to get to recording is just to push and hold the record button on the left. Before we get there, let me just show you all the top level options here. So you can get to settings, there's some very rudimentary tips, this file browser, the AI do is all the AI fancy stuff, but mostly what you'll be doing is choosing one of these three 
input modes. So we'll do speech to text, but there's also vocal boost and hi-fi. Hi-fi is particularly good if you have like singing or something that you want to record, where you want to get all the music in addition to the voice. But we'll just do STT and it's immediately recording what I'm saying. And because I have that enabled, it's also doing a transcript as I speak. Now, remember, I have also the audio file and the transcript. So I can do this at any time. And when I'm done, all I have to do is tap on save and then save it. And we'll let it finish up its transcript. Let's try it again, and this time I've turned off the instant transcript. So I'm going to push and hold the record button. And now it's recording again what I'm saying. And let me actually switch to that audio so you can hear the audio quality of what it's recording. And remember, this is in STT mode, so it's trying to remove as much of the background environment to get the cleanest possible voice. But it's not generating a transcript right now. At this point, I can stop it by doing save. And then I can do a transcript by tapping and holding on it. And now notice it's a very different menu. And so I can re-speech to text it using the model that's on the device, but we want to use a better model. So I'm going to do accurate re-SST. And it warns you this can take a while and you get to pick a language. Uh, for the input, and you can see there's a lot of languages here you can choose from because it's actually going to use a large AI system for the translation or for the transcript. So I'm going to just say go, and now what it's doing is it's generating a higher quality transcript from those just couple of sentences that I said. So We'll let it finish up. I'm going to just zoom forward and show you what the transcript looks like. The transcript's complete, so we'll do confirm. And now you're seeing that there is indeed a transcript. And if I tap on this... Now it's recording again what I'm saying. And let me actually switch to that audio so you can hear the audio quality of what it's recording. And remember, this is in STT mode. I'll pause that, but you can hear it actually does a surprisingly nice job of just doing that audio playback, but you can also read the transcript, and I can even tap on this little eye icon and get a little bit more of it. And so there's a lot of great basic functionality. This, in particular, by not having it do an automatic transcript, it means it's really easy for you to put this in the middle of a table at a lecture or a debate or a discussion or a meeting and then later you can let it chug along and do the transcript and then you can actually share that transcript with other people which is great so let me jump back on camera pretty slick right so in the box it also includes a manual which is pretty good it could do with a little more details on specific tasks and then in the box Underneath the actual sort of packaging is a USB-C to USB-A charging and data connection cable and a 3.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter wire if you're going to use that as part of your system. And that's pretty much everything. The device itself is fairly heavy for the size. I think it will surprise you. And that's because it just has really high quality metal components rather than being all plasticky, which so many devices are. This one feels like it's going to be a lot more rugged and a lot tougher. So I've given you a lot of the basics. Let me just run down a couple more specs here. So it does have the ability to do proofreading and correcting of um, grammar and text and spelling when you're in that larger AI model. Um, you can set it up to be voice activated or scheduled. So you can, if you know that you want to record the audio from a TV broadcast or something, you can schedule it that at six o'clock, start recording for 30 minutes. Uh, you could also do that, I suppose, for a lecture or for some other meeting or something else where that schedule is important. It's really convenient to be able to do that. 
As I said, it has the dual built-in microphones with three different recording modes. It also has onboard environmental noise canceling, although in the hi-fi mode, it's gonna record everything on the assumption that you want everything, hence hi-fi. And external microphone support, line-in support. Here's a cool thing. You can upload audio files and use its AI to generate transcripts from your own files recorded on other devices. So that's really kind of fun. And I know what's important here is battery life. Fully charged, you can record 30 hours of content, assuming you have the space for it. If you keep doing that again and again, you're eventually gonna run out of space, so you will have to do some file management. You can do it directly from the advice, on, or from the device, but honestly, I think it's a lot easier to plug this into your PC or your Mac and just do all your file management on a nice big screen. It's entirely compatible with that. It works perfectly well and it allows you to make changes from the remote computer connection and then it will actually automatically prompt and say, should I rescan my file system? Have you made changes? All you have to do is say yes and it'll just reconfigure things and figure out what's been deleted and it's all super easy to work with actually. Um, you can set up an access pin. So this is something really important. If you're using this to, for example, record sessions with clients or something, though you probably need to get something in writing that says they're okay with that. But if you're doing something like that, you can set up an access pin. So if someone finds this device, they're not suddenly listening to all these recordings of all your patients. That would not be good. And that's pretty much everything. I'll tell you from my personal experience, I think the basic recording and transcript is super easy to work with. I found the rest of the AI features to be rather frustrating to figure out what do I need to push where. The touch sensor spots are really small for my big chonky fingers. So I found that also really kind of tricky to do. That's something they could tweak the interface to give larger tap targets. But you know, it's gonna be one of these things where you wanna just play with it and experiment with it before you're in a situation where you need to get it right. And then you'll find that it actually is really great. And if you're doing something like trying to do proofreading or something, remember if you have the recording and it does automatic audio recording backups, so you'll always have two copies of the audio. So in case something happens, you have that backup copy, which is great. But you can always, worst case scenario, you can just download the audio and then let another tool do that transcript. Although this for transcripts does great. In terms of like translation and stuff, I did not find that super easy to figure out. But you, if you were to choose to acquire one of these, can go through and figure out and try tapping and moving. And of course, read this closely. Um, there is potentially more information online. There is a QR code on the back that you can scan to find out. But it would be great if they had specific tutorials of like how to record in Spanish and then translate it to English and then save that English on your computer. If they were to show those sort of steps, I think that would be really helpful. But even without any of that, as a simple recording device that's a high quality recorder, in that also gives you the easy ability to generate transcripts, this is an absolute winner. And there's a lot of scenarios and situations where this is going to be an absolute gem and a huge improvement to your life and your life quality. So honestly, what else do you need out of a device? <laughs> so I would say if you're in a situation where you are constantly recording, this might be one worth checking out. We do need to talk price before we get there. I'm going to ask you to click on that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon for notifications of my new content. And if you found this of value, please give me a thumbs up. Appreciate that. This, make sure it's still on. Yep, it's still on. This is the Timku SR1 AI voice recorder. And it is $79.99 currently discounted down to $64.99 at Amazon.com. At either price, it is a solid option if you're someone who needs to be doing recordings and getting quick transcripts so you can go and process or read through or proofread or whatever, or you wanna have AI assist help you with some of those tasks. It can do summaries, it can do proofreading. I mean, pretty slick actually. This is definitely one worth a closer look. 
That's what I got. Hope to catch you in my next video.